Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Rita's Book Club. Uh, as I've been doing since the start of these uh, videos, I'm, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that has been watching and also liking my Instagram posts. Uh, thank you so much for all the support and the comments. Uh, this week we have a, a really cool book. Uh, if you like mystery, drama, romance and some Shakespeare, this book might be perfect for you. Uh, we are talking about, uh, I'm talking about If We Were Villains by ML Rio. Uh, last year I was looking for some suggestions, some books to buy and asked a few friends. Um, my friend Lupe, who I mentioned in the, in the first uh, video, actually was the one that suggested If We Were Villains to me. I was very intrigued by the story and just decided to buy it and it was like an amazing ride. Um, the book starts with uh, Oliver Marks, one of the main characters, getting released from jail after serving 10 years for, for a murder that he might, might have or might not have committed. Uh, on his release day, he's met with the detective that put him in jail uh, that just wants to know the truth what really happened. The detective is retiring, is not in the police anymore, and he just wants to know the truth. Um, so the book takes you back to 10 years ago, uh, when Oliver was part of a group of seven young actors studying Shakespeare at an elite arts college. His group of friends um, and he himself play the same roles on stage and off stage. I found a lovely description online and I think it's perfect for you to realize it, their, their parts. So Oliver is the loyal sidekick, James is the hero, Meredith is the femme fatale, Alexander is the villain, Philippa is the chameleon, Richard is the tyrant, and finally Ren is the ingenuine. Uh, one day the teachers decides, decide to change it all, uh, to mix it up. and uh, the casting changes. The secondary characters become the main ones. And one of them is actually found dead. So they just need to convince the police themselves and everybody that they are blameless. Uh, because they, they need to get away with it. They did nothing wrong, right? So I know that a lot of people might be put off by the Shakespeare side of it. There are a lot of mentions of different plays, but I think that there wasn't really a better way to explain the characters and the complexity than using their Shakespearean personas. Uh, they just fit. And when you see them performing different characters throughout the book, you see them. You see them for what they actually are. Uh, they... because... I felt like in the beginning it was so simple. You 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 kind of thought that you had them figured it out, but actually they will surprise you as the book uh, goes along because they are they definitely they are more than meets the eye. So I think it was really interesting to have their this Shakespeare the, all the different different uh, Shakespeare plays. Um, I also thought that the book was very complex and interesting. You, you take this journey with alongside Oliver and see from his perspective what happened throughout that whole year, but what led to the crime and the aftermath of it all, but also the impact that that day, that year, and on his life, 10 years later, on his life and his friends' lives. So he, he actually realizes that everything has changed. And I think it's such an interesting story to take with the main character. I also think that a big thing for, um, for, uh, for me was to see the power of friendship and love and what would one, one of us would do for a loved one. Uh, how we would protect them from everything, even themselves. But also we see the, the power of the ne negative emotions, uh, like the, the guilt 
and how it can drive you can drive you crazy and how competition isn't always healthy and how addictive the spotlight can be so i think that it, there are a lot of posit positive and negative emotions that make this book really powerful in that sense um the story also has a, a lot of twists and turns the obvious things sometimes become not so obvious after a few chapters and the mystery side of it the the crime will leave you on edge every time i thought okay okay rita this is it you finally know what happened 10 years ago i was completely blindsided the i think the author really did a good job with with it uh, another another thing i liked and maybe i'm the only one was the end uh, the the author gives gives us an ending of course but it's also up to us the readers to decide which ending do we want after reading her words we can choose a happy side of it or a sad one it's up to our imagination to choose and i usually don't like when this happens because I like when things get clean and uh, tight. But I think with the whole context of the book, it was really interesting to see this and have the power to choose which which ending I wanted. Um, all in all, I, I, I think I would give this book a nine. It was super interesting to me. The mystery was nicely played and it gets you hooked, especially when you are really close to understanding what happened. And, but also it, it left me uh, questioning deeper things like, is it wrong to do something bad, even if it's for the right reasons? And I think it, it has, it's, it's very complex. I, I really liked it. And just a side note, if you pay really close attention we will even have some lgtb lgbtq plus romance with a few of the characters so i think uh it's really interesting and i'm sure it will make sense to you in the end why I'm, i left it so uh, mysterious uh so let me know your thoughts about the book if you have read it if you are curious to read it and want to know a little more about it just send me a message and we will talk about it uh, as always if you like this video please leave it a like a comment subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on instagram on rita's book club for more content and just share it with the world thank you so much for watching and see you next week happy readings